In the next 35 years, we'll have to produce more food than all of the world's production combined over the last 2000. So what will the farms of the future look like? Well, they're unlikely to look like this just yet, but many of the sci-fi looking elements are already on the way. Take automation. These concept robots are being designed to autonomously scout, sense and treat invasive pests and pathogens with micro amounts of herbicide or pesticide, vastly reducing the costs and environmental impacts associated with these chemicals. This is known as precision farming. And see here how the lasers on this tractor can detect the presence of weed to only treat affected areas. And this is the Ladybird Rover, a working solar-powered prototype that conducts autonomous farm surveillance, mapping and weed detection. Drones are also tipped to play a big role in the farms of the future, like this octocopter at Rothamsted Research. This BBSRC funded demonstrator technology could help the farmers of the future measure growth and biomass and detect stresses to crops from pathogens or lacks of nutrients or water. Other researchers are all already using them for surveillance, sowing seeds and even to find or herd farm animals as you can see here. Vehicles like these utilise the latest advanced sensors and the farms of the future will be packed with them. Multi and hyperspectral cameras for example can see problems that the human eye just can't and want 24 hours a day, feeding data back to shared cloud services for analysis and action. And it doesn't have to cost a fortune. Even now, a lot of this data can be gathered, calculated or uploaded by smartphone upgrades and apps, meaning the benefits can be cost-effective and realised quickly in developing countries too. Tomorrow's global farms will therefore be key users of the Internet of Things, whereby vehicles and equipment can use GPS and Wi-Fi to talk to each other, connect with weather and pest forecasts. As for the farms themselves, the future farms might not all be on the ground, but under it instead or integrated with factories, businesses, and harnessing local energies and opportunities. The farms of the future will also make use of data from large-scale experiments, such as the BBSRC-funded Northwick Farm Platform and the Scanalyzer. Then there is the National Plant Phenomics Centre, also funded by BBSRC. To feed the planet in an increasingly globalised food system and in the face of climate change and extreme weather, We'll need elements of all this amazing technology, and more. BBSRC funded researchers are working with partners and collaborators across the world to realise this vision.